Can you trust your eyesight when you're playing? Do you actually know what your dominant eye is? And let's say you know, but maybe you have no idea what to do with that information, then this video might help you a little bit. In this video, we're talking about eye dominance and why it is important to know what your dominant eye is and how to use that information for playing and for aiming. First, you need to understand that a dominant eye is totally normal. Everybody has it. Some more, some less. And some are pretty even, but still have a slight preference to one side. Everybody has a dominant eye, but of course our brain needs both eyes in order to put together a 3D image. And we also need both eyes for depth perception. And it's something that we need in pool. So it's not like you can just play with one eye. Uh, it's good that you have both and it's good that you're using both. But of course, there's always a stronger one. And that's just important to take that in consideration. So how can you find out what your dominant eye is? Easy test. With what eye are you looking through a camera? When you go to the pool table and you're looking if two balls are frozen, and you look and it's like, which eye do you close and with which eye are you actually looking at the balls? Or a test that you can do is, is pointing at the nose. So I'm standing just in front of the camera or a person. I am stretching my arm and I'm gonna try to put my finger over the nose of the other person or in this case, over the lens of the camera. So when I do that, you can clearly see where my finger is pretty much underneath my left eye, right? So I'm a right-handed player, but my left eye is more dominant. So why is it important to know that? When it comes to aiming, you always hear, get in line for the right shot. You, so you're not just looking at the aiming point, you also need to get in line with everything you got. Aiming starts when you're standing upright before you go down uh, for the shot. Not when you're going down, not when you're down on the shot. It starts when you are standing behind the cue ball, looking at the lines, looking at the aiming point. In my videos, I already talked about stands and you heard me say anchor foot, which is in my case, since I'm a right-handed player, it's the right foot. And the anchor foot always needs to be in line with the shot. So take this situation, for example, I'm gonna play the cue ball straight into the short rail center diamond. And I'm now gonna try to get in line for the shot. So right-handed player, so my right foot is my anchor foot. So I put my right foot in line for the shot, right? If, I'm, if I would stand just normal like this, you can see now that my body is next to the cue ball and my left eye, which is the dominant one, is completely on the side. So here's the line for the cue ball, right? And here's my eye, right? So no chance for me now to aim for this shot. I have to change that. I have to change my body position because I need to get my body and my dominant eye in line for the shot. So what I can do now is I can uh, tilt over, <laughs> change the balance. But now I'm standing quite frontal and my approach is not like that. Because when I go down like this now, I'm so close with my cue to my body that I'm getting problems with my chest. So I need a different approach. So my approach is actually standing a bit more sideways. So I'm like going a bit to the side, my anchor foot's still in line, but because I stand a bit more sideways, I can put my left eye easier in the line of the shot. And because of that approach, I can create a bit more space here between my cue and my chest. So that's my approach. Don't forget, everybody approaches it a bit different. So just because you have a dominant eye doesn't mean you have to be uh, underneath one eye or the other. You can be pretty much in the center too. The only thing I would recommend is to check that from time to time, because sometimes people tend to get a bit more extreme over time. So it's like in the beginning they started like this and like two years later, all of a sudden they're standing like this. You don't wanna be playing like this or like that because that might influence your view, your vision way too much. But a slight preference is totally normal. I personally believe that certain missed shots are just the result of a sloppy approach. So players tend to not take this process seriously enough. And it even happens to us pros. 
A good example for that is when you're missing a certain shot the same way over and over and over again. Please then take a look at your line of aim because that's very often the issue. Also take in consideration that because of a dominant eye, certain shots can be more difficult than others. So you might need a different approach for certain shots. So with that said, walking into the shot from the side is not a very smart thing to do. It's not going to help you with your line of aim. So stand behind the cue ball in line with the shot and then go down. So how you approach the shot is a very unique thing. Everybody does it a bit differently. So please do not copy other players. And if you need help, get a trainer. All right, people, that's it with this eye dominance video. I hope you understand your eye set a bit better now. Until my next one, have fun practicing and I talk to you soon.